Hello and welcome back to Sensory Friday. This video is for parents. We will be exploring sensory bins. What are sensory bins? Sensory bins provide opportunities for children to stimulate some or all of the following senses. Visual, auditory, tactile, olfactory, and gustation. They usually begin with the plastic tub or a large container filled with materials and objects carefully selected to stimulate the senses. A sensory bin can be filled with a wide range of different materials found around your house. What age range? Sensory bins are great for toddlers and young children, but are also beneficial and fun for children of all ages. The child must be supervised at all times while playing in the sensory bin. It's very important to keep in mind the choking hazards from small items, especially for babies and toddlers. What kinds of materials? Gravel, rocks, kinetic sand, rice, pasta, dried beans, beads, pom-poms, shredded paper, cotton balls, moon sand, dirt, raffia, ribbon, water, oats, corn, lentils, grits, feathers, seeds, cereal, and yarn. Why is sensory play important? Providing opportunities for children to actively use their senses as they explore the world through sensory play is crucial to brain development. It helps to build nerve connections in the brain's pathways. This leads to a child's ability to complete more complex learning tasks and supports cognitive growth, language development, gross motor skills, social interaction, and problem solving skills. The opportunities for bins are endless. Take a look at this unicorn bin, which it seems like they used some colored oats, maybe dyed them with food coloring, and then they just put some little unicorns in there and cotton balls and a wand and some pom-poms, really fun. This nature bin is awesome because it seems like they used what they found outside, like leaves and twigs, and then they just added some fun metallic rocks and some little cups so that the child can scoop out of there. I love how bright and colorful the insect bin is. It seems like they just threw in some little insect figurines and maybe some marbles or little green rocks along with some little um, tools that they can use to pick up the insects. For the safari bin, it looks like they used just some basic brown or white rice to go at the bottom and then found some trees and animals that they could put inside. The ocean bin looks very inviting. It seems like they used two different kinds of materials for the sand, which looks like some little pasta and maybe some small marbles, along with some Disney favorites like Nemo and Dory. This construction bin looks great for toddlers or young kids. It seems like they used just some dirt and sticks and um, little spike balls from outside to create this construction scene using some little action figures and a dump truck and a cone. This looks like a lot of fun. Wow, this person got really creative and thought about their kid's favorite movie and decided to create a Star Wars bin using what looks like just little action figures and maybe some glow stars and some glow sticks. This looks awesome. You can even create sensory bins using the time of the year, like autumn or winter. This person used multicolored rice and threw in some fall leaves and some gourds and pumpkins to make it look very seasonal. You can also spice things up during the holidays and create sensory bins based on what holiday it is. So this person did a Halloween bin and it looks like they colored the spaghetti purple and put some fake eyeballs in there. This person did a Christmas bin with, it seems like 
maybe some colored rice or cereal, some wooden spoons, pom-poms, beads, and just some little um, wooden figurines in the background. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to share your sensory bin that you create. I think your kids will absolutely love this activity and it'll give you maybe some time to do some things around the house while supervising. Hope you have a great weekend.